Indian industry needs to build a future based on innovation. This requires that we invest a lot more in R&D. Indian industry invests around 0.3% of GDP in R&D. This compares with 1.5%, uh, which is the world average. In other words, we need to scale our investments in in-house R&D by a factor of five to match the world. Why should we do this? We need to do this to build competitive positions for the long run built around proprietary technology. How do we go about doing this? This can happen only if we know how to conceptualize products, conceptualize what these products must do for future needs of customers to identify what their needs are, and then to be able to produce them, to develop them in an effective, efficient way. And as that starts becoming a regular part of the company's DNA, the regular part of the company's operations, R&D becomes more and more core to the long-term success of our companies. That's what our goal is. So in the R&D Managers of the Future program, um, we aim to achieve just this. We want to create those conditions where we can do more R&D, which contributes much more to a company's success and indeed becomes the foundation of its long-term success. That's the objective of the program. We recognize that we need to move in both developing capability for R&D as a function within companies, and we need to build capabilities in the individuals who make up an R&D department such that they can build those skills and as a team to bring about these new concepts and turn these new concepts into reality on the ground. We hope we've now completed two batches of the R&D Managers of the Future program. Both have been very successful and as we've, as we, as, and many companies have chosen to send batches to both, uh, both programs. As this starts to spread across the R&D departments of more and more companies, we hope this culture of doing in-house R&D and using R&D as a base for long-term success becomes a normal part of how we do business in an industry.